guys, so today's video is going to be best products of all time. That's a super general title. There's a lot of really good products of all time, but I kind of narrowed it down to like most used products for me of 2013 since we're beginning 2014. It's kind of like that kind of video. So the products that I'm about to show you are literally products that I either use every day or every other day or at least every week. They are just such regular products for me. I couldn't live without them. They are so awesome and like essential to my everyday routine. So I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get started. So the categories are going to be like best body, face, and hair product. And then I'm just going to kind of go through the makeup categories like, you know, eye product, lip product, hair, uh, face product, like all that kind of stuff. The first product is going to be best hair product. And my favorite one is this Macadamia Moisturizing Rinse. Now, I mentioned this a long time ago in one of my hair videos. Um, I think it was like products that I use or whatever. Um, I really like to rotate my hair products. My hair actually tends to get used to whatever products I'm using and doesn't get quite as clean. This Macadamia line has always been one of my favorites. Um, my hair does kind of get used to the shampoo. This product is probably like the one product that my hair never gets used to and it always makes my hair super soft. It detangles my hair. It smells good. Rinse is definitely my favorite and favorite hair product like of all time. Favorite face product goes to my Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. I use it if not every day, every other day, um, because exfoliate, it's like really deep exfoliating, like the beads are pretty thick, but it's so minty and like refreshing, especially when I wake up in the morning, it just wakes you up. I love this stuff and it gets my dead skin off and it feels amazing. So, oh my God, I love this stuff. I could not live without this stuff. I repurchase this all the time. Favorite body product of all time is my Burt's Bees Milk and Honey lotion. This is such a moisturizing lotion and it smells really, really, really incredible. It comes out super fast though. Like it's so creamy, like it's almost liquid that it comes out so fast. But after I shave my legs, I always put this on and it's super moisturizing. I use it all throughout the summer and winter when my legs are even drier in the winter. I don't really put lotion anywhere else but my legs, but this is the best lotion ever. All right, moving on to makeup products. I'm going to start with face. My favorite foundation is this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Foundation. It blends super well and does not break me out. And it's really hard for me to find products that don't break me out. I have very sensitive skin and just like one use of the wrong product, I will be so broken out and like it takes me a while to control it. So this stuff has salicylic acid in it and it's actually blemish treatment. So not only is it a really full coverage foundation, but it actually has like healing powers in it. Like it's amazing. I'm wearing this today. I wear it every day in the winter. Favorite concealer of all time is my MAC Select Cover Up. I use it under my eyes. I usually like to use uh, my Makeup Forever oil free one like anywhere else other than under my eyes because just I like to use oil free on my face just because of my breakout problem but for an under eye concealer I haven't found anything better like it's the perfect thickness it stays on super well especially with a powder this stuff is really really awesome favorite blush and bronzer combo my favorite bronzer of all time is this hula bronzer by benefit I've had it on all day so it's probably a little bit smeared right now like not quite as defined but Wow, this stuff is incredible. It's completely matte, so like I feel like frosty bronzers can sometimes look a little too oily, like it's too shiny, but matte bronzers, you look so chiseled and so defined. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best bronzer I've ever tried. I'm not really a big blush junkie. I kind of like tend to use whatever blushes I have in my drawer. I like to spend my money on like mascaras and eyeshadows as opposed to blushes, but for what I have um, used pretty much all year is this Physicians Formula blush, and this is Blushing Berry. So it's a super pink blush, and I will just put a little bit of pink on my cheeks. I like bronzer way more than I like blush. Sometimes I don't even put blush on, but usually, sometimes I do just to like add a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks. When I do, I really like to use pink blushes, so this is my favorite one so far. But I really should start investing in some more blush colors. If y'all have any favorite blushes, then um, please leave them in the comments below so that I can try some out. All right, moving on to eye products. I couldn't really narrow down the eyeshadows because I'm such an eyeshadow junkie. Like, 
I don't like to buy anything other than eyeshadows. Like whenever I get a little bit extra money to spend on makeup, it's always on eyeshadows. I just can't stop buying eyeshadows because the colors are so exciting. With that being said, I couldn't really narrow it down. So I'm just gonna say that my favorite palette of all time is the Naked One palette. Even over the Naked Two and Naked Three, I still love those. Like Urban Decay is my favorite makeup brand of all time. But um, as far as like colors that I usually go to like immediately, I always go to the Naked One because it's got Half Baked in here and um, Smog. I use those and Dark Horse. I use Dark Horse probably almost every day as the shadow under my bottom lash line. And for Smoky Eye, I always use these two colors. Um, and always use this as a highlight. Even if I'm doing a look with all MAC shadows, I will always go to Virgin as a highlight. Sin, I always put in my inner corner. Like, I literally use these products so much. I probably use at least one of them every day. Favorite eyeliner of all time is this uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Perversion Eyeliner. I also love my L'Oreal uh, Liquid Linear Intent. No, it's not liquid. It's pencil, the liquid pencil. I like this one more, but it's actually more expensive, so I kind of like to alternate but if this one was the same price as the drugstore L'Oreal one, then I would buy this one. This is pretty waterproof. Like, it's the staying power is really, really awesome on this one. I prefer this one. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. Like I told you, everything from Urban Decay, I just love Urban Decay. It's my favorite makeup brand. My favorite mascara has been this L'Oreal Collagen. It's always been this one. There's several in this black tube that say L'Oreal on it, but you have to look for the one that has the blue tint on the top because there's one with like white writing here but you have to look for the one with the blue tint. Yeah, it's it makes my lashes look so long and like people think I have false eyelashes on when I use this mascara. It's my favorite. It is clumpy though, but I like clumpy. I like thick lashes. For lip products, um, I decided that lip products for me are kind of like seasonal. Like in the summer, my signature color is pink. I wear pink everywhere. Um, but in the fall and winter, I tend to like darker lip products. And I have two products. First one is this Whirl Lip Liner from MAC. I use this pretty much under every lip color that I put on, except for pink and except for like the super pale nude lips that I do. Like anything ranging from like a mauve pink to the color that I'm wearing now, like I have this on today. And then I put uh, like any other color over top of it and it just, it's, I don't know, something about this certain shade, it's got a certain plummy, mauve tone to it. It's so flattering under every single lipstick that I own. So like I said, unless I'm doing a really bright pink lip or a really super nude lip, then anything in between, I use my Whirl lip liner underneath it. The last lip product is this Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning it's like, it's a chapstick. I should have just said this. It's a chapstick. But this, seriously, me and my best friend both have the same chapstick. And I was like, hey, why are you using my chapstick? She's like, it's mine. I was like, I didn't know you knew about this one because this is also like one of the best kept secrets of drugstores. Like, wow, is this stuff moisturizing. Last product that I'm gonna talk about is actually a nail product. It is the best nail product of all time. And it is this double duty strengthening base and top coat from Sally Hansen. And it was super hard for me to find. Like I ordered it online and something went wrong with the order so I kind of just gave up on it. So I was looking for it in drugstores and couldn't find it for a while then I finally, finally found it. Um, and I forgot how amazing it was because uh, my other one was dried up for a while. But I use this as a base coat more than a top coat. Um, I don't really like top coats because I feel like once you have a base coat on, then it, like the more layers you put, the more globby your nails get. So I kind of try to limit my layers. But I feel like once I put this on, then like everything will stick to the base coat. It's so strengthening. My nails look so beautiful when I put this on. Like sometimes I'll just have clear, I'll just put this on and people are like, oh my gosh, your nails look so healthy. Like, what do you put on your nails? And I'm like, it's this. It makes them grow really fast. It makes them really strong. This stuff is like my savior. Holy grail favorite nail product ever. So that's it, guys. Those are my favorite uh, products of 2013 and pretty much of all time. Not many things that I can think of are gonna top any of those products. Oh, I've also been really requested to do some more hair videos. So maybe I'll come up with some hair tutorials um, to do 
do for you guys and like hair care routine, my haircut color, all that stuff. So subscribe if you want to see any of those videos. I would love that. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter if you all want. Like my Facebook page. All of those will just have like extra pictures and updates on videos and all that kind of stuff. So follow me if you so wish. I hope you all try out some of these products that I mentioned and I hope you all grow to love them as much as I have. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.